Well hello everyone and welcome to a lovely sunny day here at the Upfield headquarters. Uh, so today we're going to be carrying on with our classic mini M1 conversion. We've got a sandblasting booth to make, a spray booth to make and uh, but a whole lot more. So let's get in the shed and let's crack on. Morning. Morning. Right then, so we're just about set up now and I just thought I'd quickly mention what compressor we're using because somebody might wonder what we're sort of running the equipment and that sort of thing. So we've got a um, 4 horsepower motor, it's an 18.5 CFM um, and 150 litre tank, a maximum PSI of 145 PSI. I suppose the important figure is the 18.5 CFM and that's what that'll run. And the pressure pot that we're using in the, in the um, shop last and booth we've set up in the greenhouse there it's a uh, maximum 120 psi that 125 psi that'll run us with the tank so what we've got is we've got us a um a regulator with a water trap and so i'll turn that up and i'll have that up to 120 psi so as you can see i can raise the pressure on it just so that it you can see that there raise it up to 120 psi I'm not going any high i'll leave it at 120 so it's not maxing out the pressure pot and that's Right, that's this all set up, so I'll just, we'll fill the pot up as you can see, um, I'll connect the hose up, get the pressure, pressure built up in the pot, and uh, let's crack on and get these Mark 1 doors shot blasted. <laughs> Lovely, lovely. Right. That's a brilliant right. job done. <laughs> 
That's brilliant, that. Look at that. Tool, doors, all nicely sandblasted, all brand new now. No, not a bit of rust on them at all now. <laughs> Look at that, no rust. No rust at all. Look at that. That's great. Look at that up through there. Look at that. No rust. That's great. All brand new. All these bottom bits are all, these are all new bits being put in here. All these bits here. That's all rebuilt. Same on this one here. This one here, and all, all rebuilt. New panels fabricated. All fabricated, fabricated. That's great. Lovely job. Two of them. All ready now for painting. Right then, fantastic. So that's, as my dad said, that's them all sandblasted up. Oh, I should be touching them. That's a, that's a, a tip, don't touch freshly sandblasted raw doors with your, with your bare hands. <laughs> don't worry, I'll, we'll rub them, I'll rub that bit up. <laughs> but um, yeah, so the next bit is going to be, we'll give them a rub up with some, um, some degreaser, uh, wax and degreaser remover, remover. And then um, what we'll do is we'll uh, sit them up behind, get the skins up, as well and we'll um, get them all painted in epoxy primer so that's the next step so um i think that's probably it um yeah we'll get them done as soon as possible so we'll, we'll track on with that now very good brilliant brilliant Ooh, well fantastic so that's the doors all uh, sandblasted and um, what a dirty job that is it's absolutely filthy but um, yeah, the next bit's going to be getting some paint on them. That's really important to get that done as soon as possible. But um, you, before we get on with that, if you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel. Um, and don't forget to click the, the bell notification just to notify when we upload a new video. Um, and I uh, hope you enjoy the rest of the video. So we'll crack on.
Right then, fantastic. So that's those um, two little drain plugs welded in and the brace plate. So some of you might have wondered what I was putting in there. Um, what they are is they're just the drain plugs for the um, for the top of the door. So the little rubber hose drops down through the door there. Pushes into that plug and it just, just pushes on that top little plug there. Like that. So that, anyway, that's what they're for. The two, one at the front and one at the back drain plugs. And then um, the front bottom hinge bracing plate had fallen off when we were taking the door apart, so I welded it back on again. So that was them parts. So um, I think that's more or less it, isn't it? Really, just those those bits done now. So that's yeah, all the doors. So. You, more you or might be enough. wondering why we've just welded them in now after we've painted them. Oh yeah, no, yeah, because because we um, what we well, obviously would have been sensitive. Obviously, put them in before we painted them after we shot blasted them, but it just got too late. Because um, the, the big thing about the shop blasting is just that if once you've shop blasted it, it's just really important to get paint on as quick as you can. And there just wasn't time that day to f f fit them on both doors and then paint the doors. Because I think it was nine o'clock, wasn't it, by the time we finished? It was nine o'clock, so yeah, it was late. It gets late. Nine, the compressor yeah. run, that sort of thing. So, yeah. like I say, it gets a bit noisy a bit yeah. late. So, that's great. So, right, we'll, we'll get all these set back up now, get the skins up, get them hung up behind again, and get some, get some primer on them. Let's crack on. Right then, fantastic. So um, we're just about to put our door skin on, on the frame. What I'm going to do is just run a, a bead of tiger seal around the edge of the skin. And then what I'll do is we'll put the door frame back on top of the, the skin and then we'll run like another a bead of um, tiger seal around this, this top side. And it'll just sort of sandwich the two together. It obviously holds the door frame together nice and solid because other than having a couple of welds at the top and on the Mark 1 doors, a little tack on the do bottom door external hinge brace on the inside, that's the only place it's welded. So I thought that's a good idea, it kind of holds it nice and steady. The other thing which I was thinking was a good idea with it as well, and the reason why we're talking about doing it, both me and my dad were saying, the biggest thing on minis is, is that they suffer from rot, <laughs> as, as you've kind of seen with ours, <laughs> we've had quite a bit of rot on ours. But um, the door frame's always rot on the bottom. Now, I feel that by putting a bit of tiger seal on, on the inside of that seam, and then again on the outside of when the door frame sits on, when, when you push the, lap the edge over, you'll see what we're doing, we'll lap the edge over, so it's kind of sandwiched between the, um, the sandwich between the um, tiger seal in the middle of it and I think it'll just help with preventing the ingress of dampness and wet and dirt getting in there and then it's and um, the metals rubbing together and then creating more rust so I thought it was quite a good good idea in lots of ways but um yeah so I think that's it yep so let's crack on with that now
thing of beauty. Wait a minute. Take a boot up now. Yes. Uh-huh. Well, there we go. What do you reckon? One door skinned. <laughs> Got the top just a lap over along the top. All fitted. And that's all fitted in the old school dad method. <laughs> With the hammer and dolly. Hammer and dolly, you can't work it. I've been loads of you saying there, why are you not using the skinning tool? <laughs> Because I've got a dad <laughs> with the hammer and a dolly. Right then, so we're just going to put a couple of bolts through um, the hinge locations on the door frame and on the skin just to hold it in the right place so we can um, re-drill the frame where we'll fix it on this bottom corner um, so make sure we drill it in the right place and then also so we can hold the door frame and skin together and try it on the car um, just to give it a bit of a um, try to make sure that it fits up with the swage line on the car and make sure that the door frame and everything um, is all lined up just that we're happy with it. And then what we'll do is we'll take those bolts back off again. Um, and then put a bead of tiger seal around the around the, the skin like we've showed you. I think I showed you on the previous door, but we'll show you again on this door and then um and then put the bolts back in again. Uh, take the bolts back out and then knock the skin over. Or we'll knock the skin over before we take the bolts out. <laughs> there we go. So I just want to show you what we've been doing. We've just been making a mess. <laughs> so you can see we've put the um, the sealer on both sides. You can see when we've knocked the skin over, how it's squelched out. The um, tiger seal squelched out. Just showing that we've got a good amount in there. Too much, obviously, but enough that it pushes out and it means it's got a a bit of seal on both sides of the the door frame. So that's the that's these two. Well, this side done and the bottom done. It's got the other side to do. So what we'll do we'll just do the same again. Just run a little bead of silicon, a uh, tiger seal, just up through that corner there, and knock that, knock that, um, that, that edge of the door skin over. So we'll crack on and get that done now. Right, fantastic. So that's the skin on, as you can see. It's looking good. A little bit of cleaning. It would have been good if we could have got ourselves some uh, body coloured <laughs> uh, tiger seal, but we couldn't get a hold of any. We just had the black. Anyway, that's good. So, what we'll do is we'll get the door on the car now, give it a try, and just see how it fits. And then, um, yeah. Lovely. That's it's lovely and smooth. Brilliant. We'll crack on with that now. <laughs> yeah.
That one? Yeah, yeah top of course. Uh, it looks better. <laughs> Look, we have the glass. Yeah. Of it. <laughs> lovely, 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 lovely. Right, lovely, then. lovely. There we go. Time for a time for a break <laughs> <laughs> and a beer. <laughs> a lovely beer. Fantastic. Don't fall off there. <laughs> so anyways, you can see that's that's the door fitted. So um, it's fitted in a fashion, obviously. It's, there's an awful lot of like massaging of all like the gaps. We've just got the thing sort of like held in place. Um, but it's you can see it's kind of there's a bit of work in. Well, what we'll do is all the little gaps will kind of work them work them in, get them fitting nicely. Yeah, we we'll won't get these all the handles on and right. the latches on, and have it open and closing properly. Yeah, that's great with all like the the latches. Yeah. There. But um, that's as far as we're getting mm. up till now. All, the rest of the shell is all like, which is next really, is all the um, shells to be all sandblasted, which is what we're going to be doing next. But obviously get these totally finished, which would not take too much longer to do that. Get the, the shell completely sandblasted, work our way around it, all spot welded. We're going to get lots of spot welding in it to make the shell as rigid as possible, make a really good strong shell, and then um, get it all an epoxy primer. Yeah. Get okay, it all like yeah. epoxy primer, yeah. get it all sealed up with all the primer and everything on it. Which is um, and then and look nice. exactly in the front end. That's to go on, but that's that's all kind of next to come up next. That's what we're kind of getting on with next, and what, what you'll see next once these doors are completely finished. <laughs> but um, that's fantastic. Uh, I think that's that's going to be pr pretty much where as far as we're going to get to in, in this episode. But massive thank you always for all the comments. Love the comments. The comments are fantastic. I don't oh, think it's brilliant. <laughs> there's not a bad one among them. No, nope. uh, lovely. Yeah, yeah. Well, nice. Keep them, keep them coming yeah. in. We'll answer you know any comments. We'll keep answering them best we can. There's one thing actually we need your help on is um, we've got the cant reels inside the car on the on the roof on the inside, which you'll be able to see there. I'll impose a picture. And so we need to uh, figure out a way of fitting Mark One cant reels. So you, I don't think you can buy them. Well, I've looked. I can't find them. So what we need to do is just find them off either a scrapped Mark One shell, which is going to be hard to come by. So if anyone's out there. Help us out. <laughs> we need yeah, if anybody knows where they can get them, or yeah. help me out in any ways, we're certainly interested. Yeah, definitely. Trying to get those. So yeah. that's that's how they're meant to look like. Anyway, I'll put a picture in there what they're actually meant to look like. But um, yeah. But uh, yeah. Anyway, massive thank you, and also a huge thank you for our new um, patrons. Obviously, you've realised we've got a, a patron uh, set up now, and so um, thank you very much for our new patrons. Really appreciate your help. It's, it really supports us a lot, doesn't it? Like, oh, it's it's a massive help. Massive, massive yeah. support. It just them. helps us to make yeah. more of these videos Lovely. and just do a better job to get a yeah. better you know, mic and use better tools on the car and everything, that sort of thing. And obviously for being a patron you get um, to see the videos a week early and you also there's bonus content in there as well. A few different things. So I'll put a link in the description anyway, pop down and have a have a look at that. Very good. But anyway, I think that's, that's probably great. gonna be it anyway. Well, <laughs> keep the thumbs coming. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. That, that's a, a great thing to us, the thumbs up. Yeah, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, that'd be great. And definitely press the thumbs up button. That, that helps us out massively, really helps. Massive. I think we had 15,000 views on the last one, and a thousand of you put the thumbs up, so massive thanks. So massive. keep, massive keep, to keep pressing those thumbs ups, it helps <laughs> us loads. Yeah. Appreciate all your comments, so appreciate definitely, them. Definitely. Anyway, <laughs> I'm going to drink some of this. Yeah, yep. that's it for this one. So, but what do you think of it? Fantastic. Yeah. Fantastic, isn't it? <laughs> Lovely. Great. Hopefully Great. see you on the next one anyway. Take care.